Welcome, my name is Oliver Cartes from Gamma Remote Sending. In this e-poster I am presenting the results of a project in which Gamma Remote Sensing and Earth Big Data have produced a set of global Sentinel-1 coherence maps, one of which you can already see on this slide. The main motivation for this NASA-funded project was that JPL is developing the so-called Science Performance Model, which is a tool to simulate the accuracy of deformation measurements from existing or potential spaceborne INSAR configurations, and in this context was interested in obtaining information on how temporal decorrelation affects deformation measurements from interferometric C-band. So the goal of this project was to implement the cloud-based Sentinel-1 coherence processor in the Amazon Web Services cloud environment and to process interferometric coherences globally from all possible combinations of Sentinel-1 images acquired in one year with repeat intervals of 6 to 48 days and finally to produce a series of global coherence and backscatter maps all with a target resolution of 3 arc seconds. So, in essence, we had to compute all coherences with repeat intervals up to 48 days from one year of Sentinel-1 observations. 6 day and 18 days, repeat coverage is of course not available everywhere, but repeat intervals of 12, 24, 36 and 48 days are except for some smaller areas where Sentinel-1 doesn't acquire much data. To process one year of Sentinel-1 data interferometrically, we have developed a global Sentinel-1 coherence processor in the Amazon Web Services cloud environment, based on the Gamma software and the cloud scaling software developed by Earth Big Data. A crucial aspect for completing the processing in acceptable time, and also the reason why processing was done on AWS, was that the Alaska Satellite Facility maintains a complete archive of Sentinel-1 SLCs on AWS, which allowed us to access the Sentinel-1 SLCs with a throughput of about 10 terabytes per hour. With this throughput, it was possible to complete the entire processing in about five days. So, from all individual 6 to 48 day coherences acquired at VV or HH polarization, we have produced a series of seasonal composites of 6 to 48 day coherences. On this slide, you can see two examples of the 12 day coherence for two seasons. Alongside the coherence maps, we have also processed the backscatter imagery in both co and cross polarizations to radiometrically terrain corrected level and produce seasonal composites as well. The VV examples or the co-polarization examples you can see here. Finally, based on the seasonal coherence maps, we have modeled the coherence decay rates and long-term coherence at PIX level with a simple exponential model. The parameter estimates are also available as global mosaics. So, the processing was completed a few weeks ago and all products have now been finalized. In total, we have produced 88 global mosaics of seasonal coherences at different repeat intervals, the backscatter and cro at, cro at co- and cross-polarization, and the coherence decay modeling results. While the main goal of this project was to obtain information on how temporal decorrelation affects interferometric deformation measurements, the data set that has been produced is certainly of interest also for various other applications, and I'm happy to announce that JPL is actually planning to make these datasets publicly available. So thanks for your interest, and I'm looking forward to your questions and feedback.